What is going on folks? It is Rigor Mortis. We are back with yet another video. What I wanted to do for you guys today is talk about another cryptocurrency that has been put on my radar recently. I actually bought into this one about a week ago and since then this thing has been going absolutely crazy. What we are talking about today as you can see is Bond fire now this thing hasn't been around for too long it's still very early we're, go we're gonna go ahead and talk about the price action the market cap what these guys plan on doing in terms of their roadmap and why i love this cryptocurrency quite a bit so if you're new around here please go ahead and hit that subscribe button join the family of investors throw a like on this video let's get it out to more people comment down below are you in bonfire interested in bonfire or any other of these cryptocurrencies that have been going absolutely crazy these days last but not least Please go ahead and look in the description. There is a Weeble affiliate link in the description below. If you are new to investing or if you just want a new brokerage to trade with, Weeble is great. I use it personally. Go ahead and click that affiliate link whenever you deposit $100. You get some free stocks and it helps the channel out quite a bit. Let's go ahead and jump right into the video. So today we'll be talking about Bonfire. So what is Bonfire? One of these new cryptocurrencies. Bonfire is a frictionless yield generating contract that allows you to seek shelter amidst the chaos of the market. Now, this thing, here's a little bit of the tokenomics. Original supply, quite a bit, 30% of the tokens burned. 10% tax on transactions, so 5% of every single transaction, 5% is distributed to the holders, 5% is added to the liquidity, profit from holding, we reward holders, obviously as it says up here, 5% transaction tax, which puts Bonfire directly into your wallet every time someone buys or sells. So every single time if you're holding Bonfire on, let's say, Trust Wallet, that's where I keep mine, if you hit refresh on Trust Wallet, you'll see the amount of your tokens will constantly be growing. So what does Bonfire, what is it doing, what, what are their plans? Sheltered from the storm, comfy and warm is their slogan. The market can be a scary place. One day things are perfectly fine, the next you're down 20%. Ether goes to $60, $650 and it feels like the whole world is panic selling. You feel cold, alone and afraid. That's why we're building Bonfire, a comfy place for you to seek refuge from the storm outside, collect taxes as you hodl, and watch your profits soar. We've got a ton of partnerships and listings coming out that we can't wait to announce. Here's the roadmap and here's the white paper. So their roadmap is actually posted on their Twitter. We can go ahead and look at it here together. 2021 Q2, faces behind Bonfire revealed. Now this was one of the biggest things when it came to me investing in cryptocurrencies. Is the team behind the cryptocurrency doxed or not? These guys, they just had an AMA. I think it was earlier this week, actually. I got to tune into it, and I'm just, I have to say right now, I am thoroughly impressed with this team. They're very cohesive. They seem like they know what they're talking about. I really like the AMA. They were saying some great things about the future of Bonfire. It gave me a lot of confidence in this stock, not to mention, sorry, not in the stock, in this cryptocurrency, and not to mention the fact that they showed their face, kind of puts a face to the leaders behind this community. Bonfire's new look and website domain, Founders Edition NFT set drops, multiple exchange listings and outreach platforms, we go mainstream, huge marketing push. Right now they are pushing this thing like crazy. I'm, like I said, thoroughly impressed with the team. Weekly AMA slash Twitch streams, I just watched that first one. Again, very impressed. The Bonfire app, can't wait for that. The Firestarter Launchpad Beta, Billboard Advertisements, that's Q2 for us. Q3, we got merch, NFT marketplace, NFT minting tools, enhanced marketing and global promo campaigns, new bonfire endorsed community contests, second bonfire NFT line drops, fire swap launch, NFT artists and fashion designers partnerships, Q4 of this year, international marketing campaigns, we find a home, the bonfire AR NFT discovery app and decentralized social media network. 2022 Q1, a secret project will be revealed, Worldwide Marketing Campaign Bonfire Convention. Guys, this roadmap to me personally, and like I said, I'm kind of new to investing these de decentralized coins, but this roadmap looks really good. Another thing that gives me a vote of confidence when it comes to this cryptocurrency is their Reddit page. My goodness, these guys are very dedicated. It is insane the amount of support that they have been gaining on Reddit, the amount of watchers, holding, people that are holding, Everything to do with the Reddit page has been absolutely exploding. If you come on here, it's our bonfire token, r slash bonfire token. Again, just one of these Reddit communities that is very tight knit, just like the Safe Moon community, if not even better. And not to mention the fact that they have been just absolutely crushing it in terms of the price. I mean, just look at this absolutely stunning growth. 
This thing has been crushing decimals for such a long time now. 0, 2, 8, 9, all the way to 8, 2, 3, 1. This thing has been crushing it over the past couple of days. This is actually around where I bought in sometime in early May. And since then, we've just been skyrocketing, guys. So a lot of good things coming out of Bonfire. Not to mention the fact that their market cap just passed $500 million. As we, as I was making this video, it was actually just below $500 million. 24-hour change is 158%. This thing is just going absolutely parabolic right now. And for good reason. So now let's go ahead and talk a little bit more about why I think that this, this token is good and why I am continue, continuing to invest in and continuing to hold my position. Like I said, first and foremost, guys, these are decentralized coins. This is about as risky as it gets when it comes to cryptocurrency investing. That being said, sometimes I'm willing to take a little bit more risk whenever I've done a little bit more research into a particular cryptocurrency. Bonfire is one of those tokens where I looked into it I saw the team, I went to the AMA, and I said, these guys actually mean business. Sure, it's very, you know, this is very early on right now, and we're not sure exactly where this thing is going to go. But based off of everything that I've seen so far, it's given me a lot of confidence in Bonfire. But of course, you have to go out and you have to do your own research when it comes to any of this stuff, guys. What I say is not financial advice. I'm just here to put you guys on plays that I've really become interested in. If we look at SafeMoon, right now SafeMoon has a market cap of 6 billion USD. And this thing is sitting at 500 million USD. So there's still quite a little bit of room before this thing even catches up to SafeMoon. With everything that they have going on in their pipeline in terms of their roadmap, there is a lot of potential here. In order to buy this thing, you have to buy it on either MetaMask, I use Trust Wallet, and use PancakeSwap, whatever it may be. If you know how to buy SafeMoon, you know how to buy Bonfire. Plenty of tutorials online. The website continues. Here's the contract, and here's the team. Joshua Bell, hello, Head of Marketing. Nathan Trudeau, and I'm sorry if I'm butchering any of these names. Analyst and Technology Researcher. Will Perry, Software Engineer. Tyler Ashton, Social Media Manager. Isaac Oshet. Osichess, I'm sorry if I'm not pronouncing that name correctly, graphic designer and project strategist, Eli Popovich, 3D design and NFT specialist, William Valentine, software developer. There's one more person. There's actually a lot more people on this team. This is not it. This is not even everybody that was in the AMA. There's a lot more moving parts to this team, and especially the person that is leading this team. His name is Ultra or Ultra Instinct. He hasn't doxxed just yet, but he does have plans on revealing himself in the near future. He said so in the AMA, but again, very good leadership. He He's very well spoken. I was thoroughly impressed with everything that he was saying during the AMA. So overall, obviously, like I said, this is a, still a very risky investment in terms of, you know, if you are one of those people that watch me primarily because of my stock picks, which I talk a lot about penny stocks and I tell you guys every single time these are very risky. These, in my opinion, and again, this is just an opinion of mine, these types of cryptocurrencies are like the penny stock equivalents in the stock market very risky but extremely high reward but you have to be willing to take that risk and as always you have to go out and do your own research and make sure you thoroughly believe in what the company is all about i believe in these guys i thought their ama is great was great i'm going to continue to be following along in this journey i'll be updating you guys about what i'm doing with my bonfire personally but i want to know your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section below so please let me know as always folks it's your boy rigor mortis i'm out of here Peace.